That was what, what I thought. What is the spear? So what is that? So this is Not the most post it, this is the most compelling video I have ever seen. And I'll just let it play out so that you can actually see it for it. yourself. This is in Africa, by the way. South Africa, I believe. To be honest, that guy that puts his arm around it, throughout the lot he looks different to all the others. Yes, yeah, so what that's do a massive we have hope. here? Well, I used to have a client called the Smithsonian. And back in the day, when Bob Decker was the... Uh, uh, curator there, um, I actually got access to the National Mu uh, Gallery, Museum of Natural, uh, <laughs> Museum of Natural History, and also access to the National Gallery. And I got to go in about five o'clock in the morning, it was just me and the guard. So my point to all this, I saw many great works and each work that I saw by the masters um, was subject to my interpretation, as it is yours. Ask yourself, who is it that's looking out those eyes? Speaking of your eyes, who is it that you hear those thoughts? Are you both spirit and soul, as some religions teach? Very little foundation for that, by the way. What is the spirit? How is the body connected to the spirit? I believe what we're seeing here is the moment, and I'm going to play this in a very slow motion, that this is the moment this man died. And you can see what actually transpires here. And I'll start slowing this down to single frames. So you can see what I've seen. I've looked at this a hundred times. And I believe it's the first authentic footage I could have found and seen of the human spirit departing the body. So you can see, here they are, two men riding, very going obviously very quickly. They hit the pickup truck. This man back here is the one that hits the windshield. He goes off here. The person driving the bike goes off this direction. Here's this man here. You can see here's his legs. He hits the telephone pole. He's dead. I think he actually died here. His body now comes down. Hits the curb. You can see his arms. He's still flailing. The man obviously knows that there's been a terrible, terrible accident. He's immediately stopping to clear the road. The body here, as you can still see, by the inertia of it hitting the pole, um, is still moving. I believe that this individual is dead. Now watch. Watch. Here it comes. Look where the spirit comes out of, folks. This is this man's spirit. And I believe what we're seeing here is a moment of where it is in total shock. His spirit is trying to understand what has happened. He can see, and look at this, folks. He's looking. He's confused. Folks, confusion is an emotion. So it tells me that the spirit has emotion. I don't care about your religious dogma, your religious theology. Keep it to yourself. This is my interpretation, and I'm entitled to that, as you are to yours. This spirit, this man is in shock. You can actually see him. He's feeling. There's his arms. He's feeling his body. And he's trying to grasp what is taking place here. Now this is going down one frame about every ten seconds. Here comes a policeman. Now watch the interaction between the policeman and the deceased here. 
And he's actually, what we're seeing is interdimensional coexistence. Look at the policeman as he walks. He's got his arms out to try to stop traffic, but he's looking down at the body. He's walking. Now the spirit of the man realizes, because he was trying to communicate to this officer, and now the officer's moved his hand through him. I think that there's a moment where the two suddenly realize this. This man is now it's still trying to understand, but he's beginning to be aware that he ain't no longer amongst us. So this is an interdimensional coexistence, folks. Now watch this truck here. I can do this in the reverse negative light, and it's...